They were described as fierce, decadent, and cursed. For centuries, the Canaanites were shrouded in mystery, mentioned in the Old Testament as enemies of the Israelites, destined for destruction. But who were they, really? Their cities crumbled into dust. Their culture disappeared without a trace. Historians debated their fate. Religious texts condemned them. And for generations, one question remained unanswered. Did the Canaanites vanish? Or did they survive? Then, buried deep beneath layers of ancient ruins in the Levant, a stunning discovery emerged. Human bones, thousands of years old, intact, preserved, and harboring a secret no scripture had ever revealed. DNA, sealed in silence for nearly four millennia, was finally decoded, and what it showed would challenge everything we thought we knew about biblical history. Could the Canaanites still be among us today? And if so, who are they? Between 3,500 and 2,000 years ago, the land stretching from modern-day Israel, Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan was home to a complex and powerful civilization, the Canaanites. They built fortified cities, traded with Egypt and Mesopotamia, and worshipped a pantheon of gods forgotten by time. Their cities, Hazor, Megiddo, Jericho, Sidon, rose like beacons in the ancient Near East. Rich in culture, architecture, and myth, the Canaanites shaped the foundations of what we now call Western civilization. But when the Israelites emerged, the biblical narrative painted the Canaanites as morally corrupt and divinely condemned. According to Scripture, they were wiped out, erased by divine command. However, archaeology told a murkier tale. Ruins persisted, artifacts emerged, and whispers of Canaanite influence never fully faded from the region. For centuries, scholars and theologians debated their fate. Were they truly exterminated? Or did they dissolve into the shadows of history, assimilated, renamed, forgotten? And if so, where did they go? In 2016, during an excavation near the ancient city of Sidon in present-day Lebanon, archaeologists made an astonishing discovery. Deep beneath the crumbled layers of a 3,700-year-old burial chamber, they unearthed five remarkably well-preserved skeletons. These were not just bones. They were time capsules, untouched by war, looting, or the passage of time. Lying in ceremonial positions, Surrounded by pottery and ornaments, the remains whispered secrets from a forgotten age. But it wasn't just the artifacts that intrigued researchers. It was the teeth and skull fragments, sealed under centuries of stone, that held the real treasure, ancient DNA. Rare, fragile, almost never found in the warm climates of the Middle East. Yet here it was, shockingly intact a once-in-a-generation opportunity. For the first time ever, scientists had access to genetic material directly from Canaanite individuals. The question was no longer just historical. It had become biological. Would this DNA confirm the biblical extermination or reveal a hidden survival? Led by a team of geneticists from the Wellcome Sanger Institute in the UK and archaeologists from the American University of Beirut, the investigation began in strict laboratory conditions. Extracting ancient DNA is like chasing a ghost. Every molecule degraded, every strand fragile. The samples were taken from the Petrus bone, the densest part of the human skull, known for preserving genetic material better than any other. Months of meticulous sequencing followed. Comparative databases were brought in. Thousands of genomes from modern populations across the Middle East, Europe, and Africa were cross-referenced. Scientists searched for markers, unique genetic signatures that could trace lineages across millennia. They weren't just looking for who the Canaanites were. They were searching for who they became. Meanwhile, 
Critics and theologians watched closely. The findings had the potential to upend traditional narratives. What if the people once deemed cursed had, in fact, lived on? Quietly. Invisibly within the very lands their history once dominated. The results were approaching, and with them, a revelation long buried under dust, myth, and doctrine. When the final results came in, the data was staggering. The ancient Canaanite genomes, dated to over 3,000 to 700 years ago, were successfully sequenced and compared with modern DNA samples from populations across the Middle East. What they found shocked even the most seasoned researchers. Over 90% of the genetic makeup of the ancient Canaanites still exists today in the people of Lebanon. Yes, despite the biblical accounts of total annihilation, the genetic trail told a different story. The Canaanites weren't wiped out. They survived, merged, adapted. The descendants of these so-called lost people walk the streets of Beirut, Sidon, and Tyre today. Their bloodline persisted through conquests, empires, and religious upheaval. The Bible may have declared their extinction, but DNA, objective, incorruptible, eternal, proved their continuity. This wasn't just a scientific breakthrough. It was a challenge to historical dogma. An echo of voices long silenced, now heard through the language of genes. So, if the Canaanites lived on, what really happened? How did they vanish from history, yet remain in the DNA of millions? The answer lies not in a single battle or divine punishment, but in a slow, invisible transformation. As new powers swept across the Levant, Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, the Canaanites were not destroyed. They were absorbed. Their cities fell, but their people remained. They married, traded, and assimilated. Their gods faded into silence. Their language evolved. Their names changed. Over generations, their identity dissolved into larger cultural waves. What began as Canaanite slowly became Phoenician, then Aramaic, then eventually Arab. With every shift, they left behind pieces of themselves, words, customs, bloodlines. Their temples became churches, then mosques. Their myths became folklore. Their genes were passed from mother to daughter, father to son, uninterrupted. So while the narrative of divine wrath endured in sacred texts, reality was different. The Canaanites didn't vanish in flames. They simply changed shape, a civilization hiding in plain sight. And now, after nearly 4,000 years of silence, their story rises once more, not through monuments or manuscripts, but through the double helix of their descendants. History, it seems, is never truly written in stone. The tale of the Canaanites, once thought extinguished by divine decree, survives not in ruins or scrolls, but in the cells of modern people walking among us. What ancient texts tried to erase, science has now resurrected. With a single strand of DNA, we've rewritten a chapter of biblical history and expose the hidden endurance of an entire people. It's a powerful reminder. Civilizations may fall, names may fade, but the truth, carved in our biology, cannot be buried forever. So, what other secrets lie hidden in ancient bones? What lost voices are waiting to speak through the silence of time? If this revelation fascinated you, like this video, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon so you never miss a journey into the deep past. More untold stories, decoded by science, are waiting just beneath the surface, because sometimes the dead don't stay silent.